Hello, and welcome to another broadcast with Gian. Watching this program, you are going to be inspired, challenged, and enlightened. Now, let me introduce to you our host, Gian. Quite often, people wonder, why is it that this family that are so good are going through this tremendous problem? Sometimes people wonder about innocent kids suffering. Others question about catastrophes in the world where many people died. And others go even deeper, thinking about their own lives and asking, why does God allow these bad things happening to me? It's, it's a very deep question and is reasonable. Of course, we all wonder, right? The truth of the matter is this world is an imperfect world. And this world has principles and laws like gravity. And there are many incidents that happen in a daily basis just by following the, the rules, the principles like gravity, electricity, etc. And there are many, many infirmities, just to give you an example, that are just the result of many bad, bad decisions that people make. With accidents, I can tell you the same thing, not paying attention. But of course, there are big catastrophes and horrible events provoked by dictators or evil individuals killing, actually, massively innocent people. So the question keeps being the same. Why is it that the Lord God allows those things, bad things, to happen to us? All this is part of our human life. It happened in the past, today, and in the future. Until one day that everything is going to be restored. Some people have trouble to believe what the Bible teaches us about the new earth, about the new life, whenever the Lord Jesus comes back. And then is when He will reign forever. This life is temporary, my friend. Don't you make the mistake of thinking that this is everything that you will ever see, because it's not. There is way much more. Right now, individuals that were be before us, our ancestors, people that already died, many of them that became believers in the power of the Lord Jesus Christ, they already experienced a transition and they are enjoying the beauty, the splendor of God, and also the peace that only He can provide in a place that is perfect. I encourage you today to consider the afterlife as a wonderful reward that the Lord has for those who believe in Him. Believe, my friend. Believe in God. This world with their imperfections and all these things happening, which, you know, most of the time, the source is evil people behind it. And of course, sometimes ourselves, we provoke the circumstances where we are involved. All this is going to pass. So as you focus on God and you focus on eternity, the afterlife, you will start to see these inconveniences and these problems not as important as you might consider them today. It is sad to see people dying. I have lost many friends. I have lost family members. It's not good. It is sad. But thanks to the faith that we have in the power of God, in the name of Jesus, even those 
moments of sadness can be transformed into something hopeful when we think about the afterlife and exactly what's going on in heaven now that those who left before us are now enjoying in the presence of God. Hey, 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 hey. That's all, that's all, that's all, folks. <laughs> Time to go home. <laughs> Ciao.